ready to assemble our new Next Grill Daytona one burner portable grill. Next Grill was generous enough to send this to me, so we're going to open this box, get it laid out, put it together. We've got everything out of the box. This was packaged very well, no damage to anything. After going over the packing list, looks like everything is here except we're supposed to have eight of these screws and two smaller ones missing the two small screws. So it looks like a trip to the hardware store. We'll pick those up on the way home from work today. No big deal. First thing we're going to do is attach these legs. That's what those eight screws are for. We'll get that done. We've got our legs assembled. The next step would be that this is going to go right here, but we are missing those screws. So we're going to skip that step until we can get those picked up. Next thing we're going to do, they provide this nice grease trap that's gonna sit right in here. And then that whole assembly is gonna slide right into there. Quick and to the point. Now it's time to set the actual griddle assembly on top of the burner unit. You can see there's four slots in here. There's matching tabs on the bottom of this portion. We're gonna line those up and slip those together. Now that our griddle portion is setting on top of the burner unit, I'm not sure I fully understand the logic behind this design. You can see that there's tabs on both ends of that. It's meant to slide backwards, but when you do slide it backwards, this tab in the back is doing absolutely nothing, whereas this tab in the front is grabbing. I'm sure there's a logic to that, but I'm just not seeing it. We've got the knob to be assembled here. We're just going to slip this right on so we can control the flame. And we've got our handle ready to go on. That's going to mount right onto here. Pretty simple. Everything has gone together according to plan. Very simple and straightforward. The only thing left to do is attach the regulator to the griddle itself. Put a propane tank on. I'm gonna make some meals. So the assembly went very well, pretty straightforward. Got our propane bottle hooked up. Everything went together just like it should. We're gonna pick up those screws on the way home from work today and we'll be done. Very simple process to light this. Self-igniting, instant flame. We're gonna to have to season this up before we use it. We're gonna get some use out of this. I was able to stop at the hardware store, pick up the two screws we needed for this cover. I'm assuming it's a wind block. Got this fired up. We took some hot soapy water to this griddle. That'll be the last time it sees any soap. Just wanted to get any of the factory oils off of it. They say it's pre-seasoned. We've got it fired up on high right now. We're gonna hit this with some oil. and get to seasoning this. Just a lint-free rag. We'll get this a good coating. We'll do this three or four times until I'm convinced it's seasoned properly. So we'll get this started and get it finished. We'll get back with you. So this has been oiled three different times now. We're just burning it off. I'm gonna take this opportunity while it's on high to get some readings, see where our hot spots are. We'll start off dead center. Well, that'll sear a steak for sure. Move up to the corner, drops a little bit. Left center, very warm. And we get to the front left corner, we're just under five. Move over, still same. Now this side seems a little warmer. But boy, we can sure tell where the fire is under this thing. Dead center where it's 610, 597. Move over where that burner is, 625. Other burner, 650. So, I'll let this cool down. We'll crank it down to medium, get some readings. Just try to get a sense of where we're at with this. 
planning to do some cooks on it tomorrow, so it'll be nice to know where the hot spots are. So after we got this all seasoned up, I went through the dial settings, took some temperature readings. It's pretty consistent. I do like the fact that I do get some cooler areas up in the corners. Be nice when things are done, but you don't want to overcook them. All in all, I'm impressed, guys. It's small, but it's deceptively small. You can get a lot of food on here from what I'm seeing. We're going to find out tomorrow. Ease of use is great. Went together just like it should. Very, very simple. We're going to get a lot of use out of this. Shout out to Next Grill. You guys did a good job on this. You're going to make a great camping stove. Personally, I'm going to use it for my morning breakfasts and lunches. Usually it's just my wife and I, and more often than not, it's just me. So this is going to be big enough. Do me a hearty breakfast, a nice lunch. I'm impressed, guys. Thanks for following along. We'll see you on the next video.